Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today here we are with the really interesting microphone this is the Trust Velika And we are back i really hope that you are having a great day and today here we are again with a test review and comparison as always now i'm testing out the uh, trust velica microphone which in my opinion and i'll show you why besides showing i will transmit the audio to that side of the screen now by the way on this particular video no music except with the intro maybe and all the audio will be recorded on the trust velica but i will transit to the zoom h1n i will explain why and my trusted blue yeti which i believe that it's a industry standard so i always compare this one with any other microphone i also have a phone right over here which is the samsung galaxy s20 fan edition and that will be something that i want to share with you in terms of portability with this microphone right over here an interesting setup for some kinds of users and that might be your case so let's talk about a few things now you have seen the intro with the unboxing and so on and so forth so we have this small tripod right over here but one of the things that we can use is any mount uh, for example i have this one right over here for the blue yeti this is a mount that we can use for lights for microphones and so on and so forth and it has a screw that will fit in perfectly on the truss because it has the standard screw this one as well this stand arm for desk there are a few arms that we can clamp on the desk as well we can use it so depending on your if you are happy with the one that comes in great in my particular case i always prefer this kind of stands and you can just add one of those on that now besides the uh, tripod it comes with a shock mount which is great to absorb the vibrations the microphone itself it's really well built all metallic housing really it's a bit on the heavy side but that heavy that transmits quality and it's not cheap material so great shock mount absorber as these rubbers right over here that we will fit the microphone in and will absorb those uh, small vibrations that we produce on our desk for example if i'm playing a game or something like that then it will absorb besides that it also has an adjustable pop filter included which is great and of course the usb type a to usb type c cable but in this particular case as you can see i'm using a usb type c to usb type c cable right over here this is one of the advantages for the blue yeti for example i have to use an adapter i don't know if you can see on the image right over here uh, usb type c to usb type a and then usb type a to micro usb now this is an older microphone so have that in mind newest blue yeti models probably also have a usb type c connection and if they don't they should but i believe they have now the zoom h1 is a portable microphone and uh, in terms of sound i can put it right now on the zoom h1 so that you can hear it it has some advantages and disadvantages the prices is something that we have to consider as well this one is the cheapest of the group now the zoom h1 is roughly 100 euros blue yeti 100 and something and the trust you can get it for roughly 50 euros so we are talking on almost half of this now in terms of sound quality you will be the judge of it and see for yourself or hear for yourself if it's worth it to get the trust velica instead of any other microphone now one of the things that uh, you might consider this kind of microphone instead of the zoom h1 on this particular case is if you want to stream videos for example you can which is great and this is the target of the uh, trust velica i can not only record but i can also stream videos now let's stop on the zoom h1 and let's go back to the trust 
and I'm gonna say a few words right over here and I want to compare it with the Blue Yeti at this moment. So let's say a few words as well. Now the Blue Yeti has been a trust, very trusted microphone that I've been using over the years and it is great. It has four modes of recording. The trust, and let's get back to it, it only has one, which is the cardioid mode. Now if you ask me, okay Robert, the Blue Yeti has four, which ones do you use? I only use cardioid which is my favorite and it's the one that is included on the trust microphone now before we test another thing here let's move to the microphone that i've got right over there which is a shotgun microphone on my canon m50 and as you can see the audio is just not the thing that i look for in this kind of video i really prefer this kind of situation so if you are in a situation where you have your camera and if you don't have a shotgun microphone the sound will be even worse as we have seen here on the channel but if you do it's a distant audio it's not as close as we can get with one of these microphones which i believe that the build quality and the sound quality that we have for the price is totally worth it now one more thing that i would like to add as well is in terms of portability and i was comparing with the zoom h1n which is a portable device and i can take it anywhere i was thinking okay usb type c will i be able to connect this microphone to something portable because the laptop it's portable but in some scenarios it's not really that portable if i want to make an interview for example this will be great but what about this one so i did test it out with the samsung galaxy s20 and guess what i can record directly to the phone so i can put the phone on my pocket connect it via usb type c to usb type c on the microphone i can just go anywhere and do an interview which is just awesome so this comparison right over here was something that i wanted to compare with the zoom h1 and having this hybrid of semi portability and at the same time being able to stream direct video live videos and record directly to a computer for example like the blue yeti as well and guys basically this is it so one more uh, comparison right over here let's talk a little bit on the uh, trust velica which is the microphone that we have been talking all this time now let's move on to the zoom h1n don't get me wrong i love this microphone as well more expensive but it has its target i've used it many times especially outside home which is just great now let's move on to the Blue Yeti which is also a great microphone right over here and uh, uh, when I compare the sound that I get from here and here I don't see much or I don't hear much difference especially when we are on this ambient which has some noises I've got my air conditioner for example full blast at this moment so you will always hear some parasitic noises right over here now lastly just a few seconds right there on the microphone which is on the camera which is the one that I really don't advise for this kind of situation but it is a solution on the market so there it is and let's go back to the uh, trust velica right over here one more thing that I would like to try it out and for those of you that want to do a podcast or if you want to record voiceovers or something like that now we can get a little bit closer and the cardioid mode will allow us to get really intimate with the sound that we are recording and this is just great and of course i've got the uh, pop filter right over here which helps a little bit but i just wanted to show off that we can have a more dramatic sounds more close up now the only thing that it's not balanced right over here is the video the video should but i don't have a cameraman should close up on me and we could get a more intimate scene right over here so if you want a microphone that besides giving you the possibility to live stream gaming and so on and so forth better audio for your youtube videos or any other video and besides that you want to do voiceovers I believe you can and basically that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way more details on the trust velica i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out all the specifications that probably i didn't mention one or two things ah let me mention one thing it has a really nice mute button at the bottom which i can just press and mute the microphone just in case i want to say something right over here and i'm doing a live stream and i don't want to 
stop anything just press the button mute i can talk and i can answer a phone call or something like that and then get back to the thing that i was doing besides that i think i did cover almost everything or everything but especially i wanted to share with you the really nice sound quality that we can get out of it and the feeling of the microphone now if the video was helpful in some way don't forget to leave a thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one